Hey, all viewers and viewers, this is my name is John Red Stratist. Welcome back to Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Well, Castle Gothic Stein specifically. This is part nine now. We're moving on to the Googlestadt level. So, you know the deal with this one. You've seen it time and time again. Let's just throw ourselves straight in to this bad boy. Alright, we must move quick. Gotta escort this old tank here. I hear um, Wolfenstein 2009 music straight off the bat, which is pretty good. Hands up out. Just wait for him to shut up. Indeed, right, well we'll sort that out. That that out, that out. Right, he's out, there we go. Okay, so hope you're all uh, continuing to enjoy the old uh, Castle Gothic Stein playthrough. Yeah, he does it. Tear him down. He clearly doesn't enjoy it. Right, now he's down as well. See, a lot of people around here who aren't enjoying the old series. What are they like? You know, everyone's enjoying it. Seems like a lot of my weapons actually reset. That's an interesting thing, that, because uh, when I started the level, I only had a Thompson just then. Was that always the case in this level? Or is it because I'm playing on a slightly... Well, I don't know, maybe it's something with the mod. It just changes things up a bit. We'll get into there in a little second. Just as soon as I take out the guy around here. Oh, God. Oof. And gas coming up my throat. Not from me, a cup of tea or anything that is, but uh, oh, need to watch out for the guy in the, oh, in the church tower. Well, we'll leave him to just do his thing. Yes, gas coming up my throat. Not from me tea, though. Not from me cup of tea, that is. Not actually taking a sip of that yet. No. It's coming up from my evening meal. Have myself a nice pizza. Big uh, ham and pineapple, it was. I know the old perennial debate about, you know, whether you should put pineapple on pizza. And I say... To all you pizza purists out there who say no, fuck you. I could go a bit of pineapple on a, you know, ham and pineapple pizza. Good for you down there, matey. You come on in this direction. I'll start, pick up a load of stuff. There we go, that's better. Oh god. I'm going to sneeze at some point. Right. There we go. Yes, ham and pineapple pizza, that's what I just had. I must say. If people were to ask me what's my favourite kind of pizza topping, I don't really know what I'd say to that. There's a lot of good ones out there. You know, since we're on this very mundane subject, we'll continue on. We'll let him talk and do his thing for now, but uh, sure. There we are. Yep. Sure. We're going to move on. Okay, oh, that sounds interesting music in the background. Probably copyrighted. That's the only thing with the uh, Castle Gothic, uh, Gothic Stein playthrough so far. Whoa, there's been a lot of uh, copyrighted music in these levels. And of course the result of that is that, um, well, basically, a lot of my videos technically do have copyright, uh, well, they did get flagged for copyright. That somehow missed that guy completely. There we go. Got him. Let's not waste too much uh, snooper ammo, really. But yes, um, so... That's the thing. With this mod, I forgot you existed. There we are. Right, flame trooper. Gotta watch out for him. Where is he? Should be coming. Where are you? I know you're around there somewhere. But... There you are. Uh oh. He's coming. He's coming. God, there we are. Got him. He's out. Oh, come on. Really? Was I too slow? Damn. You know, that's the first time in a very long time where I failed that section of that level. Uh, let's go on. Let's quick load. That's where we were. At least we're here. Right, got to be a bit quicker then, haven't we? Oh wow, don't even need the snooper ammo that time. Oh shit! I always forget about that guy. What the hell? Right, flame troop, come on. Got him, there we are. Gotta move. He's out. We'll get his ammo in a bit. Yeah, come on. There we go. He's down. Right. Since he's secure, we don't need to worry about him. 
already loo. Right, ammo. Anything that I've missed or dropped. Oh, hold on, there's a secret up here, isn't there? Actually, no, we'll come back to that in a bit. We'll come back to that secret in a bit, because obviously we need to protect the tank, don't we? Because otherwise it's going to come under attack. Clear some enemies out of the way before it gets past. There he is. Oh, skip along in front of him. Got him. Right, let's go. Enemies that need dealing with. He's out. He's out as well. Right. So normally you come along here and this thing, you know, you start shooting Panzerfaust rockets at it. Uh oh. There we go, got them all. Right. So now we can rest a little more assured. Oh yeah, and it's this thing that doesn't actually. Is this it? Oh no, it's not this one. I remember there was a um, anti tank gun like that that you press F on it and it makes a clunking sound as though it's not around the ammo. Okay, clearly it's not this one. It's the, it's the one in the Norway level, isn't it? You may enter now. Good luck with your mission. Thank you very much. Right, well, that's him uh, done and dusted. Gotta watch out because there'll be enemies in there. I see you. Oh. Uh oh. No. Yay. Oh, no. Back off, bro. There we go. Got him. Right. God, I am slowly working my way through this friggin' Thompson ammo. I'll have to switch out to MP40 for a bit. Someone else moving. Oh! Are you trying to sneak around me? I hear guys in the building above saying Vass. Vass? Vass is das. Yeah. Well, we'll deal with them in due course. See, I had a topic of conversation that I was talking about a while ago. Was it pizza or something? Yeah, it was. But of course, uh, I got completely distracted by all this gunfighting. Whatever else have you. There are secret areas in this uh, in this level. I'll go back and uh, get some of them in due course. But for now, let's just uh, clear out this area. Here we are. Right, we're in. There's a guy in here. How you doing there, mate? You just uh, do your thing, eh? There we go. It's all the health. Drop down safely onto the tank. There we go. Right, let's just... Um, double back and get some of the uh, areas that we've missed. Gosh. Um, see, I remember so much from this level. But um, in terms of actual secrets, quote-unquote, I can't remember whether there were any technically secret areas or whether they're just sort of small areas that you can find. Right. Oh, God. Careful. Come on now through the old building. Right, there was one here, wasn't there? Yes. Oh, then again, this is just a... Okay, it's not a proper secret area, it's just a bit of extra stuff. Which... Eh, yeah, fuck it, we'll get it. Don't see any reason why not. I don't think there is technically any proper secret areas in this level. I can't quite remember. But we'll see. What was that I was saying a second ago about, you know, rem remembering a lot of stuff about this level? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Old Red, just contradicting himself. What am I like? What's he like, eh, ladies and gents? What's he like? Don't know why the Cockney accent came in all of a sudden, but uh, sure. That is dark as... Dark as something. Insert... Metaphor here, I don't know. Okay, you're down. You're going to have to be dealt with. Oh, shit. Right, he's on his way. He's on his way. Shot the door frame. Don't know what the door frame did to me to deserve such treatment, but oh, he's being sneaky. He didn't come for me. He went uh, away. I hear him. Oh, what are you doing, mate? Oh god, now he's coming. Now he's coming. Ah, no, no. Come on. Gotcha. There we are. Oof. What an asshole. Right. Okay, no, there is a secret area in here, isn't there? From what I remember. You see, now it's coming back to me. Yeah, we go up here, don't we? Yes. Ah, it's over there. Okay. Um, I need to remember how to get to that. Can I just sort of sprint jump onto there from here, maybe? Okay, there we are. Got it. Nice. 
That's better, that's more like it. Jump up to here, jump back down. Like a pro! There we are, alright, so I've quick save there. Continue on, because we can get to, well, possibly the next level done in this episode as well. That's the thing, you know, about this playthrough. I'm actually blitzing through it, you know, because I don't think I put it to a particularly high difficulty. I mean, it's difficult enough. The enemies are a lot tougher than usually. Usually, they usually are, even. Okay. There you are. Got you. Somebody's going to come up there. I see you moving. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Just pick him off. See, normally I would have thought in this level by default you'd have a Sten gun, but yeah, that's what I'm missing. I must say, it does look very crisp and atmospheric with uh, Castle Gothic Stein's graphics. Way, yeah, 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 you saw that. Gotcha. Down you go. Ah, yes. Alright, it's going to be more up. Nope. Nope. Gotcha. Yeah, bit steward. You know, little piece of bullcrap, aren't you? I'm sure someone comes up up there, but well, having said that, there is someone up there, isn't there? From what I remember. Where are you? You toss grenades, there you are. Can't get me. Yep, yeah, oh, hello, I see you. Gotcha. <laughs> I freaking twitch shooting there. Fantastic stuff. Alright, uh, there's a guy in here. There he is. And he's dead. Thank God. Machine gunner. Ooh. Is there normally an MG in there? This one usually there. Ooh. Must be. Oh no. There it is. It was just on a different set of window panes. That's all. Alright. Whoa. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's taking a shot at me. What a git. Right. Now, head down into the blood-coloured water. Apparently this was explained to me uh, in a comment someone left one of the previous videos. It's um, a storyline, obviously, of the mod. Where, um, you know, there's basically chemical warfare and all that. Hence why it's all polluted. That's the deal. God, watch out the flame trooper! Oh, he didn't even notice I was there. No. Yeah, but time to start the reloading. Oh god. No! Yeah. Stop it. Come on round, bud. Who are you worst? Oh. There we go. Got him. Did lose a little bit of health and armour from that, but not too much, so I think we're generally doing okay, aren't we? Oh, it's this room. Okay. Um not really much. Well, there's health packs in here, which I don't need at the moment, but uh, we can come back. I always felt like this music playing in the background sounds like something that could have been taken from Wolfenstein 3D. I mean, it's not, but I don't, well, at least I don't recall hearing this in Wolfenstein 3D, which I have played, incidentally, but um, you know what I mean. It's one of those things. It just uh, sounds like such a Wolfenstein 3D esque track. Uh, you are facing completely the wrong direction. Ooh. Gotcha. There we are. Right, you can go down next. Uh oh. I think I heard him. Someone in there even. You coming out of there? Yes. <laughs> Instant shot. Shot to the face. And there's a Panzer Faust dude somewhere. There he is. Oh. <laughs> I think I got him just as he fired. And got down just in time. Playing it dangerously here, ladies and gents. Okay. Oh, it's this building. I remember this area. Where's the bomb? Oh, shit. I forgot about you, though. You're not the bomb. Oh. oh good lord. Maybe are you a fat man? Because you are the bomb. Sorry, I'm just... I just came into my head right now. I don't know why. <laughs> World War II bomb-themed chat-up lines. That's not something you're going to hear very often now, is it? Hmm. In fact, actually, calling calling your girl a fat man, that's probably <laughs> that's probably a recipe for <laughs> getting a slap in the face, isn't it? Hmm. Ah. Yes. Indeed, ladies and gents. There you are. Heard me coming up behind you, did you? Hmm. Here's Nuzzy ears. They don't know what hit him. God, that blood on the wall, please. 
please, there's a guy up here on the balcony, or on the landing, rather. Because technically we're indoors, so it's not a balcony. There we are. He's deader than a doornail. Now, bomb is the bomb is somewhere up here, isn't it? <laughs> With the two guys trying to disarm it. There we are. Right. Okay. Oh, but of course, speaking in German, aren't they? Uh, warte mal, ich ich hol eben das Handbuch. Ach egal, sie sehen für mich eh alle grau. There we go. <laughs> oh. See, if that was a real life bomb, it really would have blasted this wall away and taken out BJ at the same time. But yes, physics, everyone. Oh, gotcha. There's another of you assholes down there. Oh, don't you dare! Don't you run from me! Oh. I actually killed him before I shot the barrel, so I didn't need to do that, but, yeah. It opens up the little hole in the wall and all that. Hole in the wall. That's a uh, Japanese... well, it was. I don't know, maybe it's still on Japanese television, but it was a uh, game show, wasn't it? That hole in the wall. There was a um, British version of it at one point, with Dale Winton hosting. Oh god. I can't even see where you're shooting from, mate. Nope. There you are. Enough of that. <laughs> For Jesus. Yes. A hole in the wall. So originally it started out in Japan. I'm, I'm sure there have probably been versions of it, um, you know, seen in a lot of other countries as well. But, uh, you know, we had a version of it over here in the UK at one point too. Uh oh 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 I forgot about that. There's no way to behave when I'm just trying to talk about game shows. Alright. Oh yeah, so hold on the wall. It was, you know, it was um, hosted initially here in the UK by Dale Winton. Then away! Friggin' asshole. God, you're a bad shot, aren't you? Do you have a buddy? Yeah, so after it was Dale Winton who hosted it, you know, he, he did it for a bit. And then after him, it was Anton Dubeck. Oh, I uh, see you. Freaking gits. That can be waste all my bloody snooper rifle ammo. Gotta save some of it for the next level at least. Good lord. Try this out for a bit. Come on. Here he comes. There we go. He's dead. Yes, Anton Dubeck. That was who uh, hosted Hole in the Wall here in the UK after all Dale Winton. Uh, because, of course, you know, and Anton, Anton Dubeck, of course, is more, you know, better known here in the UK for being a professional dancer on, um, or what do you call it, Strictly Come Dancing, which is a show that pretty much, you know, every bloody housewife here in the UK watches, that and Dancing on Ice on ITV, but, um, you know, it's funny, <laughs> the thing about Strictly Come Dancing is, over time it's become this incredibly cheesy show, the humour in it is just, you know, if you're not into cheesy humour, then, you know, you're, you're not probably, you're probably not going to enjoy Strictly Come Dancing all that much. But of course, you know, Strictly Come Dancing, that's a format of TV show that's been exported around the world, all over the place, you know. Versions of it from, you know, in pretty much every country that you could possibly go to. Yes, I'm sure, you know, in the US, for example, they have uh, Dancing with the Stars, whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, but uh, Anton Dubeck, of course, was a well, is a professional dancer, I should say, on uh, UK Strictly Come Dancing. And, uh, oh, hello. Where the fuck did you even come from? Good lord. What an asshole. Right, I could do with going from getting a bit more health back. If I can get up there. There we go. No one's down here. Gosh. I mean, I'll admit, you know, sometimes when there's nothing better on TV, you know, nothing better on TV to watch. Not that, not that I do watch a lot of TV, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, Strictly Come Dancing, it's okay for something just to uh, watch, if you've got nothing else. Certainly better than a lot of the shitty reality TV that's on these days. I fucking love Island and crap like that. I mean, I'm sorry if you're a fan of Love Island, but seriously, what a fucking load of bollocks. <laughs> oh dear, right, okay, we're coming up to the end of this level here, so... 
we're going to do is we're going to wrap this episode up here. So I hope you enjoyed episode 9 then, everybody, of this uh, Kessel Gothikstein mod. I'll continue on for the time being. Of course, you know, as usual in the comments, just let me know below if you want to see me keep going. We're fairly flying through. We're only just getting into double digits in terms of length uh, in the next episode, and I'm already, you know, fairly far along in the game. Hmm. Okay, right. So, obviously, next episode, episode 10, we'll continue on. We'll try and get the train yards and the secret weapons facility levels done. But in the meantime, of course, if you're not doing so already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Link's down below, as usual, along with a link to my propagandist channel, if you're interested in that. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and all that jazz. But in the meantime, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, all. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enrol here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of reading in this game. Was me. Oh, hello. Is it time to introduce the protagonist? Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Oh, we got voice acting, have we? Hello there. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> oh, right, was it, was it just that one line? Okay. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. 